Hello everyone, my name is Astasi Pombingeleli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be answering a grade 11 plant diversity question from a previous question paper. This is a 2024 November question paper and I have access to this question paper from the test papers website. Okay, let's not waste time guys, 1.4. The phylogenetic diagram below shows possible evolutionary relationships in living organisms with four divisions. Living organisms with four divisions. 1.4.1 Identify the kingdom represented by the phylogenetic diagram above. Remember we've got five kingdoms guys. Kingdom Animalia, Kingdom Plantae, Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Fungi and Kingdom Protista. Now from those five kingdoms, which one is represented by the phylogenetic diagram above? It's obviously Kingdom Plantae. Kingdom Plantae. Um, that's the kingdom. That's the kingdom of all our plant skies and this is easy to determine because of the four divisions of the living organisms and also because of the presence of seeds and the vascular tissue in the, in the phylogenetic diagram. Let's move to the second question, 1.4.2. Write down the letter and the name of the division that has a dominant gametophyte generation. Now you need to write the letter and the name. You are given the letters, so you need to match the letter to the division. Um, yeah, to the division. We know that in plants there's four divisions. There's bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperms. So you need to match the letter to that particular um, division. So the first question is asking you um, for the name and letter of the division that has dominant gametophyte generation, that is obviously bryophytes. And that's the only division that has the gametophyte generation dominant. Um, the rest of the divisions have the sporophyte generation dominant. So the letter is division A, and the name of that division is bryophytes. Then the second question, we need the letter and name of the division that has the fronds, that has fronds as leaves. Obviously, that is the pteridophyte division. So, pteridophyte would be division B. So, division B, pteridophytes. Okay, so how this would be marked? Um, you'd get one mark for the letter and one mark for the name. One mark for the letter, one mark for the name over here. It's one mark for the word plantae or kingdom plants, kingdom plantae or plantae or the plant kingdom. 1.4.3 state the evolutionary adaptation at X in division D that allowed it to be successful. So let's look at division D. So from here, I think we should be able to tell that the first division is bryophytes, the second division. It's pteridophyte. Division C, it's your gymnosperms. And division D is angiosperms. Okay. Um, now, what we are having at X is uh, basically a trait or an evolutionary adaptation that makes the angiosperm group division different from all the other groups, which is the presence of fruits um, and also flowers. So the adaptation there at X will be fruits or someone else could have said flowers because the plants that we have in angiosperms um, are flowering plants and they also produce fruits. Okay, so one mark. Then one, four, four, name the vascular tissue that transports manufactured food. The vascular tissue that transports manufactured food. Remember, we've got two vascular tissue. You have your xylem and your phloem. The xylem transports 
water and minerals, and the phloem transports manufactured food. So the answer here is phloem. One mark. Last question. 1.4.5. Which kingdom has sessile organisms that differ to the one above in their mode of nutrition? That is kingdom fungi. Kingdom fungi. 